electrical engineering uh, there is a professional elective subject smart grid uh, that first unit is for introduction to smart grid uh, smart grid uses in information technology to improve how uh, electricity travels from power plants to consumers uh, it also allows to consumer interact uh, with the grid uh, integrates a new and improved technology into the operation of the grid where uh, in this uh, figure it shows that uh, all the net, uh, in this network topology uh, where communication network was there uh, generating uh, electricity system was there this transmission electricity is there and uh, consumer uh, system is uh, there uh, now when when we are going to talk about the traditional power system there was a one way uh, flow of electricity uh, where uh, it is uh, generation of the electricity transmission of the electricity and distribution of the electricity and at a consumer end uh, the electricity is to be used by the consumers uh, then there is a no bidirectional flow uh, which which we called we can uh, unidirectional flow uh, uh, of the electricity uh, what what the power infrastructure uh, 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 um, uh, comprises it is a centralized bulk generation uh, heavy lens on uh, coal and oil and uh, uh, there was a lack of limited uh, automation even uh, what what was the status whether electricity is going to available or not that is why limited situational awareness were and uh, it is also not possible uh, to, con to manage energy uses. Uh, therefore, the uh, we, we uh, uh, as a uh, technological uh, development in electrical engineering was that existing grid which will be uh, taken into the new horizon that is called as a smart grid. So, in this uh, figure uh, there, there was a uh, two uh, uh, figures we are observing there one is a power infrastructure and another is a communication infrastructure where in a power infrastructure when it is a smart grid there is a two way flow of electricity and information with with a uh, with a uh, communication infrastructures is involved that is the remote terminal units uh, then uh, uh, particularly uh, this load centers data centers will be there and they are con continuous in the communication process and there is will be a, an is in uninterrupted power supply of electricity uh, when uh, uh, this smart grid uh, uh, evolution start what was the uh, thing uh, or thought process behind it that key, it is necessary to use advanced technology that make uh, availability of a smarter more efficient electrical power grid and uh, there is also a lack of uh, support for the modern advancement. So, therefore, what industry uh, needs to use more holistic approaches when solving grid problems in, um, in, in a holistic approach means what there we there should be um, uh, something in a hand of consumers. So, that our awareness to the consumer uh, then commit uh, sustainability more spending on grid related research and development. Uh, and support technology advancement with policies that facilitates uh, technology implementation. Uh, when uh, uh, this was this approach come into the picture, uh, the, there are a large number of sm particularly uh, smart grid in, uh, uh, integrating systems uh, uh, needed. Uh, as per that, uh, it is it is a, a, a technology which which uh, need to integrate. It must be um, in, uh, in a uh, system. Uh, there are mil because uh, electricity network is huge network, and millions of components are there are in electricity connected from the grid, including a, a circuit breaker, switch gears. Uh, then relays was there, uh, transformers was there uh, and uh, all, all electrical um, uh, machines was uh, there. So, therefore, uh, it is not uh, possible to solve the grids problem without looking at the grid as a system and in, in a holistic way. So, therefore, uh, changes uh, made to the distribution side of a smart grid uh, will impact the transmission side and vice versa. 
there should be link between R and D that is restructuring uh, sorry uh, research and development and policy making uh, uh, because they are at the ministry of powers and, and, and then CERC was there central electricity regulatory commission was there MERC is there. So, in between there should be a proper link when a, a policy is going to be make for research and development to convert that existing grid into the smart grid. What kind of interrelation required is that uh, the, the, what changes to be needed in the power system? Even there is a lack of informed technical input into the policy making process upon creates policy that are based on the expectation that cannot be met. Uh, even um, it is necessary to make such a policy making more effective if more technical people were involved. Uh, the power industry also needs to establish a grid innovation as a primary R and D uh, um, uh, goal, and it is necessary focus on the integration of grid related new technologies like uh, IED is their intelligent electronic devices, IoT is their Internet of things which are going to play a vital role in the, uh, this system. Uh, at, at the outset, what is a, what is smart grid? Okay, it is the grid includes wires, substations, transformers, switch atom, switches, automation technology that lets the utility adjust and control each individual device or millions of devices from a central location. Uh, there will be some, some uh, central location and uh, electricity power plants at a remote uh, location. So, it is possible that to control that all or monitoring the all these power plants from a central location. Also, it is a system of a systems where each functional domain consists of three layers, the power and energy layer, the communication layer and most probably because so that was IT in, uh, that is a computer layer. So, what this picture is showing that all uh, all the uh, electrical operated uh, machineries or industries is covered uh, by in a smart grid. Uh, there are total 8 attributes in a smart grid. So, based on information based communication, then secure, then self-healing means what self-sustaining when fault occurs, reliable that means what uninterrupted power supply, flexible with the, when the uh, it will be switched to from one to another, uh, cost effective and in you know, electricity stability is uh, important that is why it is uh, dynamically controllable. Uh, again, uh, when we are saying that need of the smart grid that is the for satisfying electricity need adding additional transmission line uh, that is reliability and efficiency decreases instead uh, uh, add monitoring analysis uh, control and communication uh, abilities uh, to the national electricity delivery system to maximize the throughput of the system while reducing the energy consumption. Even also uh, it necessary uh, to, to think on uh, how reliable, efficient, cost effective and environmental friendly, friendly in aspect to a consumer point of view. Uh, it also uh, going to be um, stops the theft of electricity at a higher level and uh, it can it can supply a reliable power to the consumers with a fewer very very uh, less number of blackouts even i can say uh, 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 really min, min, uh, rare bare minimum blackouts will be there uh, then uh, whatever the growth justifies the cost renewable power needs in a smart grid because uh, uh, the uh, conventional uh, sources of the is going to be uh, con, uh, con, uh, environment uh, pollution. So, therefore, it is a need to implement the renewable energy. Uh, there is a, a negative impact on emission, utility operation, uh, poor access to electricity in a rural area and it is a, a threat control. Uh, there are some even opportunities uh, uh, on the smart grid of the uh, for uh, different uh, um, oh, reasons that is a particularly supply side opportunities as well as the demand side management. In a supply side, uh, there will be advanced uh, transmission system, uh, energy storage for the future use, increase the use of solar technologies, uh, microgrids and network optimization. When uh, demand side opportunities uh, will be there, then development of smart energy cities, smart technologies for end users, electrical vehicle integration projects like the vehicle to grid and grid 
grid to vehicle that is V to G and G to V. So, this all even the smart metering infrastructure will be going to make a bidirectional flow flow. Then there will be lot much investment opportunities to the uh, business uh, 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 people to uh, when there was a infrastructure uh, development. Uh, and the government is also supporting in the form of incentives or in the form of uh, uh, by putting some uh, startups and all the things to, uh, to the uh, uh, investors. Uh, then there is also some barriers even uh, in a smart grid that is uh, what policy and regulation because new framework will need to match the uh, interest of the consumers with the utilities and supplier. Uh, even high capital operating cost technology maturity and delivers risk uh, that technologies are still at a very initial stage of a development or yet to be developed to a significant level. And uh, even though there is a lack, lack of awareness uh, uh, among the technical users as well as even uh, you know, uh, uh, consumers. So, therefore, at large we, wide publicity must be done uh, and access to the affordable uh, capital. Uh, also, uh, skills and technology uh, because uh, uh, communication and network is going to involve uh, over here. Therefore, uh, uh, cyber security, uh, even data privacy is uh, important where because uh, there is a cyber um, attacks kind of uh, things was there. So, from that it is necessary to provide uh, such a cyber security. Uh, even the uh, lack of information for industrial consumers on the related to a development of the smart up grids. Uh, uh, what it is uh, needed is a reconditioning of a generator demand and network constraint. Uh, the new business models for uh, energy supplies, then uh, uh, variability in a renewable en uh, energy uh, uh, electricity production uncertainty in a relation to ro roles and responsibilities, optimum balance between cost and benefit. So, uh, these are some barriers what we are earlier discussed and what are the different functions of the smart grid. Exchange data on electricity generator consumers and grid uh, on a priority, then integrate num numerous new smaller electricity generating facilities, balance out the fluctuations in electricity, uh, even it is necessary also existing and plan implementation of small grid, load adjustment at large grid because the, the switching of the load at uh, 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 is a uh, there sometimes uh, loads are there, sometimes loads are switched off. So, that load adjustment demand response support because electricity uh, 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 for that forecasting and all the data is available. So, that uh, will be uh, taken into the consideration. Uh, so, some more functions of uh, uh, smart grids are like that it is necessary to uh, motivate the consumers uh, to actually participate in the operation of the grid uh, by uh, putting some renewable energy sources like solar photovoltaic on the rooftop. Uh, then resist attacks be between um, from the uh, by uh, at a different places uh, that they might have uh, integration of the grid. So, avoid that, that certain uh, uh, particularly uh, provision must be made. Uh, then provide high quality power because uh, uh, and when we are talking about uh, uh, star based rating appliances, they required a quality power. Then, then, then and then there will be possibility of the energy saving. Uh, then optimization of assets, then accommodate generation of uh, options, accommodate all generator and storage options, enhancing ability to manage large amount of solar and wind uh, power in the form of renewable energy.